this video gonna get a lot of hate. I already know, but I love you, so you better love me. Hey you guys, it's Shandera. What is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And in today's video, we're doing drugstore skincare products I ain't never buying again. <laughs> And we just go get a little kiki. Now, if these are your faves, don't get mad at me. This is just my experience with the product. Product, please don't get, please don't get mad. I dressed up. I look mediocrely okay for y'all. So the first product we are going to talk about is Thayer's Rose Toner. Where do I begin with this product? <laughs> It's just not for me. I reviewed it. I gave it Shandera's stamp of approval. It is a hit or miss for me. There are days when my skin loves it. There are days when my skin does not love it. However, when using this product, I think it is wonderful in a DIY face mask. I don't know. There is something about using Kaylee clay, uh, Rasul clay, uh, adding your essential oils, your other oils, and a rose water toner. That being Thayer's in a DIY face mask. And it does what wonder. When I've used it as a makeup remover, I didn't like it. When I've used it, it just didn't give me, it just didn't get my makeup off well. Um, when I used it on my skin, I didn't feel refreshing. It felt more sticky to me. It dried down horribly. With the dry weather here, it wasn't as soothing as I thought it was going to be. When I used it in the summer, as I mentioned, it dried down sticky. I've tried it in a spray bottle. I've tried everything I could to make this spray. Um, to make this toner work for me and it just doesn't work however I will say this when using it in a DIY face mask girl you got yourself a product that is amazing but next product we are going to talk about is this Garnier skin active black pill off mask that I think they do not sell at the store no more because I have not seen it yet but in case they do we'll never ever 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 be buying this again this thing hurts it is too painful um it's literally like ripping your skin off i did a review on this mask and i said the same thing in the review that you could get away with not using this mask it is painful and it hurts and it makes me cry and i'm kind of teary-eyed right now because i just don't understand why is this so painful why garnier did you make this so painful is it for people with oily skin do you think we all got tough skin are you trying to make our skin get tears and lacerations if you want to talk about micro tears tears to the skin laceration sores on the face pick the forget the walnut scrubs and the scrubs y'all want to hate on Pick this bad boy up and you will have lacerations, tears on your face. Sensitive skin people, if you are eyeballing this at the drugstore, girl, boy, don't pick this up, honey. I'm just letting you know. Um, however, I will say, if you are against black pore strips because of paper in the environment, this would be a wonderful product for that. However, other than that, it's really painful, but it's not really supposed to be used on your whole face. It's just supposed to be used right here, here, and on your forehead. I wouldn't, my, my, I wouldn't recommend using it on your forehead because this is the thinnest area of your head. If you get chin hairs, it's going to rip them right out. It's literally like waxing. That's how how painful this mask is it's literally like waxing so if you have chin hairs that you can't pick with tweezers this mask is gonna get it I just can't use it because it's too painful um, I would rather use tweezers for my chin hair and for my blackheads um, I'm going to just go ahead and use Kohl's RX or Paula's Choice. I've used this in so many videos but it is coming up on a year and it ain't gone yet I don't like it <laughs> I guess because I'm getting older and products I used to use as I was younger I need to stop using but sometimes I don't know I always have like this nostalgic feeling that I feel like I need to go back into my childhood and reminisce and this is one of the products that make me do this including Noxzema and when I have that feeling I use it and I don't care what y'all say with that being said <laughs> um I just 
I, I guess my nostalgic feeling is over because I haven't used this in a long time. I think St. Eyes really needs to go back to the drawing board and make a better version of this apricot scrub, in my opinion. More hydrating, less harsh on the skin. Um, you guys know I'm not really about it causing lacerations to the skin. I personally feel it's a myth. I've read dermatologist statements on the channel where they concluded that it wasn't true but other dermatologists and estheticians believe something different each each esthetician and dermatologist you go to are not going to uh give you the same opinion as well as doctors when it comes to your pediatrician or uh your your doctor pediatricians tell you uh you two different things about the same child so you know it's up to who you go to and i lean more on the side of balance where i personally feel with with other dermatologists that this doesn't cause micro tears or lacerations to the skin with that being said I just don't like it because it's a really drying scrub however I'm gonna buy it again so I can feel nostalgic at times next we have Olay glow boost uh, mask stick I wanted to like the product I got on camera and I told y'all I didn't like the product after that I used it again just in case we could revisit it together um not gonna happen I used it twice the first time I used it there was a thicker coating of gray on my face after I got off camera with you guys then the second time I used it Josh said you look gray <laughs> I said wait what do you mean I look gray I looked in the mirror and it was like in dark you know how sometimes your house mirrors are darker than the mirrors outside when you go into the sun and you're about to go and run errands or go to the park to the zoo wherever you're about to go um that's what happened to me josh said well you look and josh is a virgo y'all don't know virgos pick every and i'm a libra so i'm sensitive so it's weird this little how we are Josh Nick Pitts every I could have just like a little speck of oh you got dust let me flick it off so when he said you look great I looked in the mirror I'm like I'm not doing that with him he always look nitpick every little thing we went out into the sun when we got to where our destination all I know is people were looking at me I was like why are people looking at me I looked in the mirror my face was gray caked on gray imagine being gray after you rinse this mask off, you got on lotion and sunscreen. Oh my God. And imagine if I had on makeup. This is a nightmare waiting to happen. Ooh, <laughs> good luck. Use at your own risk. So if I'm looking gray, if you are fair skinned, you're going to look a hot mess. If you are darker than me, this is going to make you look a hot mess. So I just suggest all skin tones stay away from this. However, use at your own risk. If you may. So now we're going to be talking about Equate. I mean the top is even broke off. This is how messy this product is. We will be talking about Equate's Daily Facial Cleanser. Botched the house. Made my skin dry. Texture. The fragrance. I think the fragrance was so loud that it broke me out. Was a mess. I even mentioned it in the video. You are better off buying Daily. Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser. Sometimes Equate get it right. Sometimes they get it wrong. This time Equate you got it all the way wrong. I do not like that product. It was so bad, I actually started using it as a body cleanser. Y'all know, I, once I open the product, I am not going to waste it. I am either going to give it to family or friends. Family or friends tired of me giving product. I'm going to use it as a body cleanser. And that is what that product is being used for, as a body cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I gotta say you could judge me all you want to I layer with lotions at the end of the day with that being said look use that three dollar and 84 cent product at your own risk but just get spend a little extra three dollars get you Cetaphil's daily facial cleanser way much gentler than that one little more hydrating it will strip your skin of oils it will help remove your makeup however it is not going to make your skin get any texture it is not going to dry your skin out completely messy equate uh, product i am not going to be buying and that is this equate gentle uh, lotion i don't know where they went wrong with this gentle lotion not for me broke me out it really didn't break me out per se what i will say is i did get a little rash but i don't know where that was from however i did continue to use it the rash went away so i'm not going to really say the product broke me out but i will say 
it is not hydrating. You are going to have to layer with some uh, petroleum jelly, Vaseline, baby oil, olive oil. I don't use baby oil anymore. I use olive oil, natural oils. I'm more of a natural oil type of person. So I would rather go to the food section, get me the good olive oil and apply it to my body as opposed to baby oil. With that being said, you are going to have to add a coat of something else to your skin uh, aside from this gentle skin lotion because this is very drying. I think it works wonderful for babies per se. My taller daughter, her skin loves it, but we are here in the desert and honey, I am dried out the house. Most of you who live in Arizona, whose skin used to be oily, probably combination is dry oily now. You oily dry. <laughs> <laughs> you combination dry lady. You sensitive dry. If you got dry skin, you dry, dry, dry. And I got dry alligator skin. Y'all remember that Luberderm commercial where he be like, see you later alligator. That's my skin all the way. And this one did not say see you later alligator. This product here was a hot mess so i will not be purchasing this again even if it is cheap i just don't think it's worth the money even when i added oil it was like the oil set on top and it did not glide with this lotion maybe spending less money but you're using way more products so in the end you're going to have to buy another bottle when you might as well just bought the good stuff and use way less product now let's get to the face mask the first one being that turmeric freeman mask. I'm going to show a clip somewhere right here. Botch the house. I didn't like it. Y'all know I didn't like it. I felt it was a cash grab. Freeman, that was a cash grab. You know it. I know it. How dare you sit there with me in exfoliation to feel like I'm exfoliating with paper. Then give me a botch paper mask that was not hydrated and made my skin sticky. And I'm mad at you for that. Uh... Freeman, no, 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 no. I will not be buying that turmeric uh, exfoliating two-step mask ever again. They actually have more of those masks. And I ain't buying them because the uh, turmeric one was horrible. So I'm not buying any more. Next one being Clean Beauty's sheet mask. Clean Beauty, the sheet mask don't fit. You actually had a good product. The serums were nice in the mask. And it fit. And if it, it was an oblong shape, who head is like this, like overlapping like that? Really clean beauty. Come on now. I'm still mad at that sheet mask. I will be mad at that sheet mask forever. If you have not seen the video, go look at the video. That sheet mask was a hot mess. How dare you clean beauty? I'm still mad at that. And the simple fact that it was actually manufactured here in America. So you could have got it right. You know, most Americans are bigger in general. We just are. We have more hormones in our chicken. We eat more milk. Things process differently for us here in America we just bigger creatures in general so for you to be making oblong masks like that how dare you clean beauty I mean come on now you know you know how us Americans heads are shaped who head is shaped like that that they could not measure that head correctly someone please tell me at the clean beauty manufacturing team who measure who was measuring people's heads I don't know who head she was measuring. I don't know what happened, but no one's head is this long. And then they face is going all the way out to here. Whoever did that, shame on you. The serums and the extracts were nice in it, but the mask in itself made me not want to purchase it again because it's a waste of money and it's a waste of product and you are not getting the full benefits of the product. When you look at the D Discovery Channel of back in the days with the people, the Neanderthals, the caveman people, back way and way in the day, they had to be shaped like that, clean beauty. No one's head is shaped like that. So I don't know where you went wrong with that mask, but you need to go back to that drawing board. With that being said, I can ramble about this sheet mask for five. Y'all already, I'm ready to talk about it forever, but I am going to go ahead and leave it alone. Um, Y'all know I got a new spring thermal water for a uh, video. Let me know, are some of these your faves? I hope I didn't make anyone mad about me not wanting to buy these products anymore. Anyway, so that being said, you guys, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah.